So in Ephesians chapter 6, Paul, first of all, turns his attention to Christian slaves. And there are some tremendous lessons, as we'll see at the end, about how this is relevant to us. And indeed, it is relevant. So in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 5, Paul writes, Bond servants, be obedient to those who are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in sincerity of heart as to Christ, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as bond servants of Christ doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same from the Lord, whether he is a slave or free. As we'll see in a minute, he wrote much the same words to the church at Colossae about slaves. First thing he says, slaves, bond servants, you are to be obedient. You are to be faithful in your service. Now, of course, slaves could do all kinds of things in the first century. Slaves became and were some of them were quite educated because their masters wanted them to come to know certain crafts and trades and have certain abilities. So many of them were educated. So regardless of what kind of slave or bond servant you were, you were to be faithful in your service. Says so that's what you're supposed to do. You be faithful. And not only were you to be faithful, you were to be faithful with the right attitude, with the right frame of mind, the right spirit. He says, this is the spirit that you're to obey your masters. You're to do so, first of all, with fear and trembling. They were to have respect for their owners. And of course, a lot of slaves in the first century did not. So Christian slaves were to stand out. You know, just like us today, we're to stand out from the general population because of our work, of our faith, of our attitude and spirit. We should stand out as being different than the majority of the world. Well, Christian slaves were to also. If they were obedient to their masters, if they were faithful in their service, if they had this respect for their masters, they would stand out. This would be a way for them to win to Christ other slaves and maybe some of their owners and masters. 